Hi, somebody contacted me and asked me how to layer up vinyl so that you've not got double layers of thickness of vinyl if you want to overlap letters. So it's a fairly simple process to do in Scan and Cut Canvas, so I thought it would be easier to show how to do it than try and explain it. So I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas workspace online. If yours looks slightly different, it might be that you're using the Windows downloadable version. But I'm using the online cloud-based version. So the first thing I'm going to do is I've got Canvas open with a blank page. I'm just going to choose a font. I'm just going to choose any font. The top left one will do for now. I'm going to double click to expose the flashing cursor and then highlight the word text. And then I'm just going to over type that with three random letters. So I'm just going to use DLC and I'm going to click anywhere on the page to select it. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it out to make it bigger in the hope that you'll be able to see it better on screen. But obviously you resize it how you need to. So at the moment, these are a group of three letters because I typed them all together and I want them separate so that I can move them around. So with them selected, I'm going to right click on my mouse and hit divide. And that will now break them up into three individual letters. I'm going to colour them in just to see if it helps see them better on screen. You don't have to do this at all. OK, so the first thing you would do is you would obviously arrange your letters how you want them. So, you know, you may want to overlap them. I don't know, but it was... From what I can gather, the person wanted to know if you wanted to cut vinyl in, say, three different colours of vinyl, how do you not get like a double layer here where this C overlaps the L or here where the L overlaps the D? So I'm just going to position them like that for now. I'm going to select them all and I'm going to come up to Edit I'm going to come down to Process Overlap and I'm going to use the third icon along, which is Remove Overlap. And I'm just going to select that and wait for the software to do what it needs to do. Now, you probably don't think it looks any different, but if I move the C away and the D away, you'll see that it has now removed the sections where they overlapped. So if I just undo that and put it back together, when this is layered up now, this C, if you cut it in green vinyl, would nest in here on the L. And the L would nest within the D because you can see it's got a cut out and you won't have double layers of vinyl. So if that's what you wanted to do, you would just obviously need to save your project, give it a name up here and save it and then download it. Now, I'm not going to go into in this video showing how to put in alignment squares and that kind of thing. I've done that before on other vinyl videos. If you go to my YouTube channel and go to the playlist and then look for any of the vinyl projects, that will show you how you can then cut these three sections separate in different colours of vinyl and how you will be able to line them up again so that they nest on your project. But this video was just a quick, simple video showing how you can overlap your letters and get them to cut them so that you've not got double layers of vinyl. So I hope that helped. Please give the video a thumbs up if it did. Don't forget to subscribe if you don't already do so. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.